Like serologic biomarkers, the use of advanced radiology has become an important tool in both diagnosing and managing inflammatory bowel diseases. The most commonly used are CT and MRI. Both modalities can be used to diagnose colitis, though CT is often the more accessible of the two. It is beyond the scope of this MedMastery lesson to outline every single radiologic inflammatory biomarker. However, it is important to understand that signs of colitis are nonspecific and do not point to any particular etiology in general. This is important to note because flares of IBD, like Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, are known to have significant correlation with C. difficile colitis. In other words, you could have both etiologies of colitis seen on imaging. In these instances, follow-up, either with subsequent imaging or assessment of diagnosis and monitoring using serologic inflammatory biomarkers, becomes vital. Imaging becomes especially useful in managing disease in patients with known IBD. If we can identify complications early, we have a much better chance of altering prognosis and preventing future complications. Complications can be thought of in two categories. First is luminal complications. The second is extraluminal complications. Luminal complications that can be seen on imaging include strictures, dilations, and cancers. Extraluminal complications include adhesions, fistulas, abscesses, and perforations. IBD patients are at risk for immediately life-threatening complications like bowel perforation. A plain x-ray of the kidneys, abdomen, and bladder, historically referred to as KUBs, can show some bowel dilatation like toxic megacolon and perforations. This is where advanced radiology excels though. Because of its accessibility, CT abdomen has been the workhorse for this evaluation, but ultrasound has many advantages that have led to its growth in use as well. First of all, point-of-care ultrasound machines are becoming widely available in emergency departments and primary care offices. This allows for immediate evaluation without transporting the patient to another location. Second, the ultrasound's ability to demonstrate colitis and perforations is improving considerably as the technology is improving. This has led to the incorporation of focused assessment with sonography and trauma or fast scanning in the ED. This concept is being widely applied to non-trauma presentations of abdominal pain now as well. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.